Today, we are getting creative by using a yoga strap in our yoga practice. So traditionally, I've always thought of a yoga strap in terms of restorative yoga poses, but today, we are going to use that strap to amp up these traditional dynamic poses in our yoga practice. Feel free to leave me a comment with any feedback you guys may have. I'm super excited to share this sequence with you guys. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoy. Go ahead and meet me in child's pose to start off. Set your strap off to one side of your space. Knees can come together or to mat with distance. Melt your heart and head against the earth. One round of clearing breath to kick off our practice. Inhale through your nose. Open mouth, exhale to release. Seal your lips, bend your elbows, sliding your hands in, press up to tabletop pose. I like to curl my toes underneath me just to add some sensation to my feet. Take a couple rounds of cow-cat. So inhale, scooping your belly towards the earth. Eyes look forward, finding your heart open. As you exhale, round to fold, finding your cat pose. Once more, inhale, finding your cow pose. Belly forward, or belly towards the earth, heart and head forward. And exhale, round to fold. Top of your next inhale, walk your hands one handprint forward, lower onto your belly. We'll start off by unraveling our strap. You're going to make sure the buckle comes to your right hand. Take a couple of wraps around your hand. From here, we're going to bring the tail end of the strap into our right hand and send that strap in back of you. Point your toes towards the back. Now start to pull that strap apart with your hands. So hands drawing in opposite directions. Keep your head, neck, and chest lifted. Keep a point to your toes. Now hover your legs away from the earth. So we're finding our floating locust pose right here. So with your hands holding onto the strap, can you feel more engagement in the back muscles? Can you feel more of a lift to the chest? Maybe walk your hands a little closer in together. Option to keep a little bend to your elbows, start to bob your legs up and down. Relax in your facial muscles. Eyes can look forward or maybe towards the top of your mat. Draw the shoulders closer to the back of your space, starting to heat up in your glutes and back muscles. So we're uh, warming up that posterior chain. Breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your nose. Optional open mouth exhale. Continue to breathe in through your nose. And maybe breathe out through the mouth. Continue to bob your legs up and down right here. You're not here for long. And same option right here. Maybe we walk the hands a little bit closer to one another. Maybe you find more of a lift. You're here for five, four, last three, two, and one. Tap down with your toes. Set your strap off to one side of your space. Unravel your hand from the buckle. Thumbs come to your low ribs. Inhale, high cobra pose. So you start to pull your heart forward, maybe float your shins and hips away from the earth. Option to keep a bend to your elbows. And exhale, flip over onto your feet, downward facing dog. You can walk your big toes together to touch, sending your hips up and back. And come to bend one knee and then the other, waking up your hamstrings. Eyes are looking towards your belly button or your kneecaps. Inhale through your nose to one, two, open mouth, exhale to release. Nice job. At the top of your next inhale, find stillness in down dog. So your heels are drawing closer to the earth, but they do not have to touch. Maybe you keep that slight bend to your knee. Inhale, sweep your right leg up high to the sky. Bend your right knee, stack your hips, draw circles with your right leg. Notice if you're leaning more weight towards the left arm. Can you ground down evenly in both of your hands? You're here for four, three, last two, and one. Inhale, straighten out your right leg. Flex your toes. Exhale, crunch. Knee to chest, glide forward, look forward. Inhale, sweeping your right leg back up, high to the sky. Down dog splits. Exhale, crunch. Right knee to right armpit. 
fold. Halfway there in your tiger crunches. Inhale, straightening out your right leg, down dog splits. Exhale, crunch, knee to opposite elbow. Find a bit of a twist. Final one, inhale, right leg up high to the sky. Exhale, crunch, knee to chest, look forward, step forward. Finding your lunge, can you stack your right knee over your heel? Come onto the tips of your fingers. Bring that buckle into your right palm again. Take a couple wraps. Once you've found your wraps, you can bring the tail edge of your strap into your right hand. Inhale, sweep your arms up high to the sky. Crescent warrior, maybe you start to walk your hands closer in together. Start to find organic movement where you can feel more openness to the shoulders. So maybe you want to dip from side to side. Maybe you want to draw the arms forwards and backwards. Now, as best we can, can you engage in the front leg? So option to lift and lower your right toes. Can you feel your right heel ground against the earth? Inhale, send your arms up high to the sky. Maybe send the hands closer to the back wall. As you exhale, arms draw over to the right. Twice more, inhale up high. Maybe walk your hands in closer, reaching those fingertips high to the sky, and exhale. Final count, inhale, reach the arms up high. Heart stays open, hold this for one, two. Exhale, side body stretch, hold this here for three, two, and one. So inhale, reach your arms up high. Exhale, pivot your back foot towards the earth, finding your warrior two. So for today, with our hands in the strap, send your hands to your hips in your warrior two. Can you continue to pull the strap in opposite directions with both of your hands? And to start to maybe walk your feet further apart, taking up space in your warrior two. Top of your next inhale, send the hands up high to the sky, reverse your warrior, arms draw closer to the back leg. You exhale, hinge forward. Using your ribs, can you draw your right arm closer to your right thigh? Once more, inhale, finding your peaceful warrior, reversing your warrior two. And exhale, draw it all the way to the front, floating side angle pose. Inhale, brings you all the way back up. Start to straighten out your right leg. As you exhale, find your triangle pose. Can we send the right hand closer to the right foot? Now, option to keep a bend to your elbows. Eyes are looking up towards the ceiling. Another option right here to keep a slight bend to your right knee. Hold here for four, three, last two, and one. Inhale, reaching your arms up high. Release the strap with your left hand. Bring that strap towards the back of your space, so towards your hips right here. Go ahead and bring your left hand to engage on the strap once more. Bend your right knee. Inhale, sweeping your arms up high. Puff your chest up high. As you exhale, hinge at your hips. Right shoulder touches down against your right thigh. Humble warrior. Option to start to dip your right shoulder to the inside of your knee. We continue to pull the strap in opposite directions. Maybe start to draw the arms closer to the front. As always, maybe keep a bend to your elbows. Go ahead and sway from side to side with your arms. Option to open and close your mouth a few times right here. Just reminding yourself to relax in the jaw. Nice job. We're here for four, three, last two. And one. At the bottom of your exhale, left hand releases from the strap. Right hand comes to the inside of the right foot. Set the strap off to one edge of your space. Both hands come to the inside of your right foot. Now maybe you bring blocks underneath the hands for support right here. We're going to start to find an external hip rotation with our right side. So heel toe your right foot off your mat. Point your toes out to a diagonal. Touch down with your left knee, draw circles right here. Planting your hands against the earth, option to keep a slight bend to your elbows. You can rock your head from side to side. 
Nice job. At the top of your next inhale, let's go ahead and plant weight onto our hands. So hands are underneath our shoulders. Curl onto your left hips. Inhale, kicking your right leg up and back. Down dog splits. And exhale, crunch knee to armpit, glide forward. Once more, inhale, sweep your right leg up high to the sky. Exhale, knee to right armpit, look forward, step forward. So right foot is to the inside of your right hand. From here, you start to lift your right toe. So we're going to grab that strap and pivot towards the left side of your space. Wrap that buckle to the inside of your right hand once more. So taking a couple wraps right here. You might find a couple loops. I'm gonna make that strap as flat as possible. And once you wrap that strap over your right hand, bring the tail of the strap into your right palm as well. Angle your toes out in opposite directions. So both feet are pointing outwards, engaging in your glutes. Inhale, sweep your arms up high to the sky. And from here, maybe you decide to walk your feet further apart. Lift and lower your toes a couple times. Find organic movements in your horse squat right here. Keep your neck nice and long. Ground more weight to the heels of your feet. You can lift and spread your toes away from the earth. Maybe you walk your hands a little bit closer together. Nice job. Top of your next inhale, dip your arms towards the right side of your space. As you exhale, arms and torso dip to the left side. One more on each side. Inhale, arms over to the right side. You can bring your right arm closer to your right thigh. Maybe draw the hands closer to the back wall. So draw those arms away from you. Now exhale, arms draw over to the back. Again, maybe draw the arms closer towards the back end of your space. Option to keep a bend to your elbow. Top of your next inhale, arms go up high. Now as you exhale, we're going to start to hinge at your hips. Draw a half circle with your arms. So hands are continuing to so pull the strap apart. Now as you inhale, sweep your arms up high. Option to keep a bend to your elbows. Now exhale, taking that circle. So between your inhale and exhale, you're finding a full circle. Maybe you want to walk the hands closer together. Maybe you want to walk the hands further apart. So whenever I walk my hands closer together, I feel more of that grip strength in my hands. If I walk my hands further apart, I'm feeling more openness to my chest. So take what you need in this moment. One more count right here. Inhale, sweeping your arms up high. Hands draw closer to the back and exhale. Nice job. At the bottom of your exhale, release the strap from your right hand. Set it off towards the top edge of your mat. Go ahead and pivot towards the back of your space, finding your low lunge right here. Make sure your feet are in two different lanes of traffic. Top of your next inhale, sweep your arms up high. Crescent warrior, as we find our mandala pose. So now the left knee is bent. You can hook your thumb, send your arms closer to the back wall. Now as you exhale, cactus the elbows towards your ribs. So the only thing that moves is the arms. One more count. Inhale, hooking your thumb, sweeping your fingers closer to the back. Engage in your glutes and exhale. Send your hands to your hips. Inhale, straighten out your left leg. Option to keep a slight micro bend to the knee. As you exhale, hinge at your hips. Nose draws closer to your left big toe. Draw your left hip back, right hip forward. Shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, breathing into one, two. Hold for the exhale. Can you draw your head closer towards the earth? Keep the shoulders reaching away from the ears. Nice job. Inhale, lifting your torso all the way up. From here, rebend in your left knee. Let's start to take flight with your left leg. Warrior three. And keep your hands to your hips. Maybe start to fly the arms out to its seat. Maybe arms forward. Can we melt the heart closer to the earth as you kick your right leg up and back? At the bottom of your exhale, TP your fingers against the earth. Find a Shiva squat. Bend your left knee. Right knee touches your left calf. 
Twice more, inhale, kicking your right leg up and back, and maybe walk the hands closer to the left foot, and exhale, knee to opposite calf. Final count, inhale, right leg up and forward, standing splits, and exhale, knee to opposite calf. On your next inhale, straighten out your right leg, toes touch down against the earth, back to your low lunge, we're gonna go ahead and pivot back towards the left side of our space. Bend your right knee, pivot back to the front. So full circle in our first mandala. Press your hands to frame your right foot. Sweep your right leg to the back. Now option to hover your right leg or toes can touch down against the earth. Inhale, glide forward, bend your elbows. Hold halfway. Go ahead and find your heart opener with your next inhale, and then exhale. Send your hips up and back to downward facing dog. One beat right here. You can continue to bend one knee and then the other. Maybe shake your head from side to side. Inhale, breathing in to one, two. Open mouth, exhale to release. Then walk your big toes together to touch. Inhale, sweep your left leg up high to the sky. Exhale, crunch. Knee to chest, glide forward, a look forward. Inhale, sweep your left leg up high to the sky. Exhale, crunch. Knee to opposite armpit, tiger crunch. Halfway there. Inhale, left leg up high to the sky. Point or flex your left toes. Exhale, knee to right armpit, finding your twist. Inhale, sweep your left leg up high to the sky. Exhale, knee to chest, look forward, step forward. Come on to the tips of your fingers this time. The buckle comes into your left hand. Take a few reps. Once you've found your left hand wrapped, bring the tail edge of your strap into your left hand. Inhale, sweeping your arms and torso up high, crescent warrior. Hold right here, find organic movements that help you feel most open. Maybe you wanna walk your hands closer together. Continue to pull the strap apart. Option to keep a bend to both of your elbows. And holding right here, same option. Maybe we lift and lower our left toes a few times. So arms can uh, glide from right to left. Maybe they glide forwards and backwards. Feel that openness and engagement to your shoulders. Atop of your next inhale, sweep your arms up high to the sky. Pull that strap apart steady and strong. With your exhale, side body stretch to your left side. Twice more, inhale, send the hands up high. Feel that reach from your ribs all the way up to your hands. And exhale. One more count, holding for a bit longer this time around. Inhale, arms up high to the sky. Maybe reach those hands closer to the back wall. Hold this here for one, two. Now exhale, side body stretch over to your left. Hold this here for three, two, and one. Nice job, inhale, reach your arms up high to the sky. Exhale, warrior two. Hands to your hips. Maybe you wanna walk your feet further apart. Option right here, just start to angle your right toes in at a slight diagonal. Continue to pull that strap apart with both of your hands. At the top of your next inhale, arms go up high, reverse your warrior. So finding your peaceful warrior, arms dip close to your right leg. As you exhale, arms come forward. Can you draw the left arm closer to the left thigh? One more count right here. Inhale, reversing your warrior. Eyes are looking up, heart stays open. Play around with range of motion and exhale, dipping closer towards your front leg. Option to keep a bend to both of your elbows. Top of your next inhale, lifting all the way up, straighten out your left leg any amount. We're gonna find our triangle pose. So start to bump your hips towards the right and then send your arms and torso over to the left side of your space. Steady and strong right here. Maybe bring the hands closer to the wall in back of you now. Inhale, holding this in for one, two. Exhale here to three, two, one. 
Beautiful job. Inhale, lifting your torso all the way up. This time, right hand releases from the strap. We send the strap over to our hips. Hands go up high. Bend your left knee. Hinge at your hips and exhale. Send your left shoulder to your left thigh, finding your humble warrior. Eyes are looking towards your belly button or towards your right kneecap. Arms draw closer to the front. You can start to shimmy from side to side. Maybe open and close your mouth a few times. Humble warrior, nice and engaged. Again, keeping that bend to the elbows is always welcome. And sway from side to side. A strap right here helps you fight gravity. So the shoulders want to dip towards the ears. Draw the shoulders away from the head. You're here for four, three, last two, and one. Nice job. Right hand releases from the strap. We set the strap off to the top edge of our mat. Both hands come to the inside of your left foot. Heel toe your left toes off your mat. Toes point outwards and draw circles with your left hip. And keep a bend to your elbows if you'd like. Maybe rock your head from side to side. Open and close your mouth. Nice job finding your lizard lunge steady and strong right here. And can we keep the head lifted away from the chest? Maybe start to lift and lower your left toe. I like to draw circles in my lizard right here just to open up my hip and thigh. Top of your next inhale, bring it all the way back to the center. Heel toe your left foot in, curl onto your right toes. We're going to pivot towards the right side of our space. Bring that strap back to your left hand. So buckle is in the palm. Going to wrap the strap a few times. We come to bring the tail edge of the strap into the left palm. And start off with our feet a bit closer. A bend to our knees. Inhale, lifting your arms, lifting your head, finding your squat. Point your toes out, send your hands to your hips. Start to shimmy your hips from side to side. Pull that strap apart right here. Lifting and lowering your toes. Nice job. Keep your shoulders stacked over your hips. Top of your next inhale, sweep the arms up high, pull that strap apart right here. Heart is open, shoulders are strong, and dip towards your left leg. So dipping towards the front of our space. Feel this in your ribs, nice and engaged in the side body. As you exhale, dip it over towards the back, so the right leg. And can we draw the hands closer to the wall in back of us? Eyes are looking up towards the ceiling. Final count, inhale. Reaching your arms up, dipping towards the front of your space. Keep that bend to your knees, steady and strong. Maybe keep the eyes looking up towards the ceiling. And exhale, arms over to the right side of your space. And we send the hands closer to the wall and back of us. Nice job, inhale, arms up high to the sky. Now as you exhale, go ahead and send the strap to the earth. We're going to go ahead and, oh, forgot about our little circles right here. Bring yourself all the way up as you inhale. So back to your horse squat. Now as you exhale, hinging at the hips, draw that circle towards the earth. Inhale, full circle, arms up overhead. Draw the arms closer to the back wall. And my tail's a little long right here. Maybe I start to draw um, little circles over my right palm. So finding more of a wrap with the right hand. So I'm going to exhale, hinge at my hips, inhale, sweep it all the way up. Staying engaged in the glutes as you lift up each time. As you lower each time, you feel more openness to the hips and low back. Draw weight into the heels of your feet. Inhale, arms up high to the sky, gaze lifts, and exhale. Inhale, sweeping your arms up high to the sky, and exhale. One more count. Inhale, can you reach those hands closer to the back wall? Maybe keep a bend to your elbows, and exhale. 
On your next inhale, send your hands up high to the sky. Can you send your hips closer to the earth? Now as we exhale, set the strap down against the earth. We're going to pivot towards the back edge of our mat. Low lunge, steady and strong. Come on to the tips of your fingers. Inhale, sweep your arms up high to the sky for Crescent Warrior. Hook your thumbs, send the fingers closer to the back, and bend your elbows. And separate the thumbs, elbows towards your wrists. Once more, inhale, sweep your arms up high to the sky, heart stays open, and exhale. Hands to your hips, straighten out your right leg, inhale. As you exhale, hinge at your hips, finding your pyramid pose. Nose draws closer to your right big toe in pyramid. And feel free to keep your hands on your hips as you hold your pyramid. Maybe start to send one hand and then the other onto your right shin. Fight gravity, draw the shoulders away from the ears. And in my pyramid right here, traditionally we are pointing the back toes out to a diagonal, heel touches down. Option to keep your back heel lifted for this round. One more beat wherever you are at, folding the head closer to the right foot, draw the shoulders away from the ears. You're here for four, three, last two, and one. Inhale, hands to your hips, lifting your torso all the way up. As you exhale, let's go ahead and lace our fingers this time around. Slight bend to your right knee, warrior three. Taking your right foot up and back. Now you can keep that lace to your fingers. Maybe send the arms out to a T. Maybe send the hands to your hips. Steady and strong. With control, tips of your fingers touch down against the earth. Bend your left knee. Taps against your right calf as you exhale into Shiva squat. Do more of these. Steady and strong. Inhale. Standing splits. Kicking your left leg up. Maybe forehead draws closer to your right shin, and exhale. Shiva squat, knee to opposite calf. Can you walk your hands closer to your right foot? Inhale, kicking your right leg, or excuse me, left leg up, and exhale. Embrace that shake, nice and strong. Go ahead and kick your left toes towards the back of your space. Top of your next inhale, pivot towards the left side, or excuse me, yes, it's your left side. Then. You're going to bring it all the way back to the front in your low lunge. Hands high five the earth. Inhale, sweeping your left leg back. So option to tap down with the toes or keep the left leg floating. Glide forward as you exhale, bend your elbows, hover halfway. Inhale, pulling your heart forward, finding your cobra or up dog. And exhale, send your hips up and back once more. Take a clearing round of breath. Breathing into one, two, breathe out. Sigh it out through your mouth. Sealing your lips, lower onto your knees. Extend your left arm long. Left bicep is a pillow for your ear. Plant your right hand in front of your chest. You're gonna nudge yourself flat onto your back. Walk your feet to mat with distance. Windshield wiper your legs from side to side. The top of your next inhale, and go ahead and plant your feet against the earth. Make sure your low back is planted against the mat. And go ahead and send your knees towards your chest. Finding your ball pose, lace your fingers to your shins, get nice and compact. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. From here, send the knees towards your armpits. Hands come to the bottoms of your feet or ankles. Happy baby pose. So touch down with your shoulders, neck, and head and go ahead and rock from side to side. Point and flex your toes right here. Give your low back a gentle massage as you open up your hips and thighs. Top of your next inhale, I'll bring it all the way back to the center. Send your arms by your sides. We're bending the knees in towards our chest. As so you exhale, extend one leg long, followed by the other. Find a corpse pose, Shavasana. Maybe walk your feet a little bit wider than hip width distance. You're just taking a simple inhale and exhale through your nose. Soften in the facial muscles. Feel yourself grow heavy and take up space. You're 
you're welcome to stay right here in your Shavasana. Otherwise, if you're ready to be guided out, inhale. Sweep your left arm up overhead. Bending your knees, plant your feet against the earth. Roll over onto your left side. Plant your right hand against the earth. Nudge yourself up into an easy seat. Bent at the knees, crossed at the shins. Bring your palms to touch at heart center. And start to rub your hands up and down. Keep your shoulders stacked over your hips. Here for three, two, and one. Now separate your hands by one inch. Feel that heat and energy that you've built. Bring your palms back together to touch. Bow your chin towards your chest, sealing your practice. The light, the love in me, sees and honors the light, the love in you. Namaste.